Hi, this is Anne from the Useless Crafter. Okay, so this is a special request. Um, someone is having problems with this file. So we're gonna try to do Twilight Sparkle and I'm gonna show you how to make her big. She does, I just took a quick peek at this. It does look a little bit more difficult than your typical file, only because of the way the file was done. So let's get started. I just wanna show you what that looks like. And then also, while I still have your attention before <laughs> you guys switch off, I just wanted to let you guys know Creative Fabrica launched a new page called Fans. So creators like myself can have a membership format on their site. So to be a fan of mine, it would be $5 a month. And what it would include is um, just more access to me. So I'm gonna have a monthly Zoom project. So that's gonna be live. If you can't make it, of course, it will be recorded and you will have access to it. Um, the other thing is I will have weekly coffee chats. So basically, like I kind of was thinking, you know, the hardest part about learning a Cricut was I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know how to explain it where I can Google it or find easily what I need. So I will have the coffee chats where you can pop in and say, hey, how do I do this? And it could be like a one minute solution instead of, you know, like a, a week long uh, project where you're Googling things. <laughs> uh, the other thing is uh, I will also have, I have exclusive discounts lined up with the vendors that I use that I will pass along to you guys. I also created a special Facebook group where it's just for the, the paid fans and that way I can manage it and you know pop in and give advice and then you guys also have the community to give advice to each other and you'll get to know each other because we'll be on zoom together and with the coffee chats so i'm really hoping to build this this amazing crafting community anyway i just wanted to point that out that's in my um it'll be in the description and i just thank you always and the first 10 um i was Polytape um, generously said that they would send a package of HTV to each one of my 10 new fans. And the 10 already filled up, but the next tier is 15. So those 10 plus, um, I think there's four more slots. Um, you guys will be entered in a raffle. So just out of 15, there's only 15 people in this raffle uh, for a Cricut Mini. And then the first 25, I haven't decided on the prize yet. It could be something from Barely Art Glue, or it could be a gift card to Nito's Labels because I love their sticker labels, um, or just something else that I haven't thought of. So anyway, TBD on the first 25 because we're not even there yet. <laughs> um, all right, so let's do this file. So the first thing that I noticed is when I'm not familiar with the file and when I see lots of pieces, I like to scroll down on the right hand side panel to see what I have. And this, I've got a lot of pieces. Um, but what I also want to see is what does my background look like? Because what I'm noticing is here's the tail. The tail is a different color. like. And then the horse has a purple outline. So that's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna want a full outline in general. So I might just change everything to black. So what I see is with this purple outline, this is just the horse, no tail and no um, hair in the front, right? So what I'm tempted to do is this. I wanna grab this whole thing and we're gonna duplicate it. And I think this is the easiest way to go about it. So we're duplicating it and we're welding. That's gonna give us the solid black background, something for everything to sit on top of. We can still keep this design as is. So around here, you're gonna have a purple outline. Around here, you're gonna have a dark, I don't know if that's black or blue, but that way all these pieces will sit on top of this girl. Okay, so let's put her over here. And let's make it, let's see. So I always go with the longer length. So whether it's the width or the height, I'm gonna change it to 30 inches. And so I'm changing the width to 30. 
and let's see what it does to this file. So this is big. I mean, she's basically a square almost, right? So it's 30 inches by 28 inches. Let's make this smaller so we don't have to uh, scroll back and forth. Okay, so here is our outline. Let's look at the individual pieces. Um, let's ungroup it and see what we have. And 30 might be just too big for this file. Let's see. Um, so the tail is 13 by 18, but let's ungroup that and see what each individual um, tail piece is. So, yeah, I mean, you're gonna have to slice this up and that's fine. I don't mind slicing, but I don't want so many slices on this, on this piece. It's not gonna look that good. So let's go and change and make this just a little bit smaller and see if that helps us out. So I'm gonna put that back like that. Um, put this back over here. Or actually, you know what, let's do that at the end. Let's just put this tail, oops, undo that. We'll do, we'll do this at the end. So let's delete that. Let's get this tail back on. I think it was something like this. Okay. And um, let's go down to 26 inches and see what we have. So it's 26 by 24. It's still pretty sizable. Um, let's see, let's unlock and let's twist this around. Okay, so that works. So this will fit on a you know 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. All right, let's do it like this. So let's twist this back in, 26 inches, right? So let's save this as Twilight Sparkle 26 inches. All right, so now that we have her, at 26 inches. Let's duplicate it and weld it so that we have a piece that it will sit on top of. And is it going? Oh, there it is, okay. So we have this one, we're gonna weld it. Okay, so that's gonna be our background layer. Now. It's going to be up to you whether you want these outlines. Um, because it could be this outline or you can have this purple on top. It's, uh, I know it's personal preference, but let's just go and we'll see how this works out. All right, so this piece right here, we're gonna ungroup. We know that these will be seamless, even though it's 8.5 by 12.8, the way you would know that it can fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock is you unlock it. And when you're unlocking it, we're not resizing it. We're not making it bigger or smaller. All we're doing is we're tilting it. We're basically taking advantage of our 12 by 12 paper and kind of rotating this to make sure that it fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. And it does, 11.6 by 9.16. I mean, we can really make sure that this goes to 11.5 or under, but, at this dimension, we can we can trick the system into cutting this because it's gonna want a 12 by 24 mat and a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock, but it will cut because it will go to the 12 inch line. So 11.6 will fit on there as well as 9.16. So this will cut, it will be seamless. This one as well. All right, so that's good. Let's look at all these colors over here. Oh my, okay, so let's ungroup this. Let's see what we have here. So this file is a little bit different because see how all these pieces, let me zoom in for you. I like the details of the little slits because that shows that it's swirling, right? But, I also, but I'm not in love with having four separate pieces. So what I would do is I would weld these little pieces up here and still have the cuts, but just that it will be easier for us to handle. So let's try that. 
I'm gonna bring in a circle. You wanna unlock it because we wanna make it super slender, like that. Okay, and then we're gonna turn this around and we're gonna stick it in. Okay, so that's gonna be kinda hard. It doesn't look good like that. So what, what we'll do is we'll do two pieces at a time. So I'm gonna duplicate that Okay, so the first one, I'm gonna put it up like almost to the edge as much as I can. And if it doesn't look good, we'll go back to, ooh, we might have to do each separate piece. All right, so let me do this. Let's make this smaller. It's kind of hard to see, I know, I'm sorry. Because I don't wanna lose the detail of the, of the cutouts but I want it to blend in a little bit right here. And I'm, let me zoom in some more. Okay. <laughs> oh, good thing we zoomed in. I wasn't even, okay, there we go. So that looks good to me, maybe like. Okay, and then this little guy, I'm gonna make it smaller, shorter. We're probably gonna wanna make it a little bit thicker, but I just wanna show you really quickly. So let's grab this and weld it. It doesn't look super clean right now, but you see now it's one piece. Well, if we do it one more time. So I would prefer something like that because um, if you do a better job, because I'm just, can't concentrate right now to make it perfect, but if you get a better cut right here, it will be, you know, one piece instead of four pieces, and that's gonna help with this project because this one, I'm just looking at all the different colors that they have, and um, so here's the purple that goes behind it. So that's gonna look good. So all these little pieces. So this right here, I would, I would be tempted to connect it as well, but so far everything is seamless, right? So these are all the different colors. If you wanna stay true to Twilight Sparkle, these are the colors. So, all right, I'm moving this over. Everything so far is seamless. Okay, this tail is not going to be though. Oops, let's look at this. So the tail is 11 inches by 14.4, but these are separated so we can, so you see how it's three separate pieces? So we're gonna use contour to separate them because of the shape it is, it's so close together. I'm not gonna be able to slice it out, but this is what I can do is I'm gonna make three, have three copies of this and I'm gonna go to contour. On the first contour, I'm gonna remove these two. So we have just this piece. And see this piece by itself is 1.6 by 7.6. All right, next piece, I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna get rid of the two side pieces and that's gonna leave me the big middle piece. And this is 9.5 by 3.8, which I do think if we rotate this, so let's unlock it and rotate it a little bit. 11.1 .1 by 12.5. 11.6 by 11.8. All right, so this one's gonna be tough because one side has to be 11.5 or smaller. All right, we're almost there. We're gonna have to rotate this just perfectly. Okay, so it's gonna get cut off a little bit. 11.4 by 12.1. So what I would recommend is, I mean, 12.1 is just gonna be slightly off. I think it's okay. I would not change anything to that. Okay, let's go on this one and get this side one. Go to contour and remove the two right pieces and leave the slender piece and this slender piece will be fine. Okay, so this piece right here is too big. If we want this dark outline, and actually this dark outline is the same as the tail, so I'm actually not going to, I'm just going to delete it. 
we don't need it because it's going to go here. It matches. It's going to go like this. Right? So it's on this background. Let's look at this thing. This thing should all be fine. You would ungroup it and each one of these things will cut and it will be wonderful. They're all together anyway, so that's fine. Let's look at the eye. The eye is, oh man, this, this just has so many pieces. It's beautiful, but look at all the pieces. If you want these colors and you want to do it this way, that's this is Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> All right, let's, this eye as well will be fine because I can tell it's small. Um, the stars are fine. Let's ungroup this. Okay, so here are, we're left with the three big pieces. The the black or the blue background, which includes the tail and this top part. Oh, so actually it includes this. We don't need this piece if you don't want it because it's the same color. So I would just delete this. Or actually, you know, you know what? This is nice to have because if we did have any um, slits right here, this would cover it. This would cover it up the seams. So let's keep that. All right, so we've got this, and then let's look at this piece. So, and I'm gonna bring this another one in just so that we have a visual. <laughs> Do you like all the images that I've been uploading? My, my daughter had a project that we needed to cut out. Um, <laughs> okay, it's taking a while to upload. Give me just one second. All right, so here she is. Let's bring her in. And on this one, just to not, just so that we don't get confused with the pieces, I'm gonna flatten this image. So when you flatten it, it turns into one piece because it thinks you're gonna print and cut. All right, so I wanna make this big. I wanna see what we have here. Okay, so what I would wanna do, I guess for the horse is I would, I would slice right here in the purple and just separate her face. And then I would, let's see how big this piece is. Yeah, this piece is too big. So I would probably separate here. And then the other thing I would do is maybe split the leg up. So right here, have a seam right here. Let's go with that and see what we get first. Okay, so I'm gonna make this one smaller. All right, so let's go to text. I'm gonna bring in my favorite, I love glitter. So in the font, what you wanna do is you wanna type search for I love glitter. This is a free font from DaFont. So that's D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. So you're gonna need it because I love this one. The glyph, you're gonna love it. This is the square bracket. It's to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. And what you get is this nice little curvy, um, curvy guy. So let me bring it down and make it bigger so you can see it. So you see for the face, it's not a straight line. So what I find is when I use something like this, and let me ungroup this for a second. Oh, it's already ungrouped, okay. So I'm gonna move this aside. We'll move this one as well. Okay. And I'm gonna take this. And see it kind of, let me see. Let's zoom in for a second. To see the curve kind of matches the line of the face. So we're gonna do something like this, like that, okay? So we're gonna take, we're gonna grab these two items and slice. So instead of there being a seam, we're just saying, hey, look, the face is a separate piece. 
And then, so we're gonna duplicate this and remove the face so that we can see what we have. Okay, so let's contour and let's get rid of the body so we have just the face. So the face is eight, eight inches by 10, so that's gonna look great. Then on this one, let's contour, let's remove the face and the little cutouts, okay. Now the bottom part, it's 13 inches by five inches, but we can get rid of this piece, so let's duplicate that because it's a separate piece and let's go to contour. We're gonna get rid of the body and that's gonna leave us the little foot and the little foot is perfect, it's 2.2 by 5.2. And then on this one, we're gonna contour and get rid of the little foot. The little foot doesn't really matter in this, um, in the calculation of the, you know, of the dimensions, but, all right, so let's go back and look at this. I had originally wanted to slice, continue slicing up right here because all of this is covered. So let's see, so it's from here on up to here and that's going to split this in half so that's going to make that fine let's see what we get okay so we may have to still do other things but i'm hoping using the diagonal piece that we have a long enough piece that we can make this work so let's again bring in that bracket the square bracket make it bigger and then I'm going to zoom in so we can really see what we're doing. Okay. And I'm not worried about anything up here because if you remember, all of that is being covered by this. So we're taking this all the way up here. Only this little section will show and we're just, it's just going to look like an extension of this. So it's going to, I think it's going to look fine. Um, no one will know. <laughs> all right, let's, Turn this over, let's turn it over like, okay. I wanna extend it, but um, arrange, send to the back, okay. I think I need to make this bigger. So let's stretch it out a little bit. Okay, what is going on? Let me make this smaller for a second. It's not letting me move it. Okay. I'm gonna move this and then I'm gonna move this. Okay, on this one, I wanna unlock it and make it a little bit thinner and longer, okay. I wanna do something like this and let's zoom out for a second. When it goes up, it's going to go up to Okay, yeah, so I think it's going to be covered right here. It's going to go up like this. All right, so let's grab these two items and slice. Now on this one, we need to be a little bit more careful when we're slicing and I'm going to show you when we're removing what that means. So we can get rid of this. This we can get rid of. Um, all right, so on this one, we wanna click on this, on this slice, okay? And we wanna go to contour, and we wanna get rid of just this piece. Because we cut into the leg, we don't want the leg to have that seam, right? So we're gonna grab this and weld it, so we're gonna make this leg whole again. All right, so now, oh man, I split it in the wrong section. I split it right here. I meant to split it right here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, we 
we can keep it. Okay, so let's, oh man, it's fine. Cause now it's just gonna show, let's duplicate this. It'll just help us. Let's contour and get rid of this piece. So we have this, this piece and this piece. We're gonna contour and get rid of the big body. So if you can picture this, it's gonna be like this. Right, and then I don't have all of her stuff here, but this is gonna go on top. So you can see, let me let me make this a different color so you can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna arrange center the front. So you can see the hair is gonna come down and it's going to cover Okay, so let's continue so you can see what that looks like. All right, so on this one, well, now I'm wondering, should I just slice right here? Um, if I slice it right here, only this little part will show. The rest will be covered. So that looks like a good place. So let's go to text. Did I bring it in? No. Okay. Make it bigger, all right. And then on this one, let's curve it this way. Kinda like that, I think that looks good. Let's zoom in just to make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna unlock this and make it just a little bit thinner. Okay. Okay, I think that looks good. Let me scroll up so you can see it. All right, let's slice these two things. Oh, geez, <laughs> undo. It's Friday. Uh, all right, <laughs> um, slice these two. And I think on this one, we don't have to be careful when we're removing it. So let's see. Okay, so let's piece this guy together. Let's duplicate this and separate it. Okay, and then on this one we need the butt. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, let's kind of piece this back together so we can see what we have. We have that there. We've got this here. Oh, there's another piece of the leg. Where is that leg? Um, is that a different color? Where did it go? Did we get rid of it? So what happened to that little leg? It's somewhere, is it, this, this is the tail, I think. Oh no, it's the leg, okay. Send to the front. It's a different shade of purple. Okay, so that's the leg. Um, let's see. We're missing this piece. This piece is bigger. So hold on. Arrange, send to the front. Let's move this out of the way for a second.
So you see the legs. I don't think that that looks that crazy. And that gives us the ability to make it big. Um, it just looks like it's sliced off. And then once you add in the tail and all that stuff, that's really gonna, you're not gonna notice that. And here's the face. See, and the face doesn't look weird that it's separated. So she's gonna look pretty cute, I think. All right, so let's talk about what we have left. So the, this guy, let's unlock it for a second and see if it, oh, this is gonna be close. So it looks like we might even have to slice it right here. These are just big, big pieces. So let's see though, do we need that big piece? Because we don't need this piece right here because it's covered underneath. So you see that? So we can actually Okay, so I'm gonna just slice off right here. Let's bring in a square. And this is gonna help. So let's grab these two items and slice. Yeah, so see, there that is, right? This is actually gonna be on top of it. So you're not gonna see that it cut off right there, but now this piece is seven and a half inches by 12.8, so I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna twist it over, and it's 10 by 11.8. Yes, we don't have to slice it. All right, let's look at this guy. This guy, the same, Thing a little bit um, but let's see I think this one we can unlock it twist it over twist it some more oh, it's close uh, okay yeah 11.4 by 12 uh, let me see I want to get it to like 11.5 exactly. I don't think I can do it. This one's going to cut off a little bit, but we can, this one will work out fine if we trim it a little because we don't need it to go all that way, right? We can trim it like right here, in fact. We can make this two pieces. So let's trim it like right around here. So I'm gonna do this. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, not images, shapes. And bring in a square. Let's hope I remember where to do it. <laughs> so we're gonna make this a little bit bigger and we're gonna slice it right around there. I think that's okay. Let's slice this up and we'll put it back and you're, I don't think you're gonna see it. Okay, so this is gonna go up here. Oh, good. See, it's covered by that piece. And then this piece will go up here to get that piece right there. And no one will know that this is two separate pieces because the pink is gonna be over on top. Okay, yay, all right, so we solved all that. Let's delete everything. I think we're good except for the... the background and the purple. I'm not gonna do the purple one because once we do this one, you can apply the same thing to do this one. And actually it's, I probably could do it because I'm gonna show you. Okay, let me move everything out of the way so that we have a clean slate. 
Okay, so let's do this one. So we're going to build our squares. This is based, you know, it's 26 inches by almost 26 by 24 inches. So it's large. What we're doing is we're slicing up Twilight Sparkle into pieces that the Cricut can cut. And we're doing that by doing squares. So this first square, let's go to size and change it to 11 by 11. Technically, you can cut 11 and a half, right? But I don't like dealing with half inches, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put it here, go to the position feature, and round to the nearest whole number. So 10.3 becomes 10, 9.2 becomes 9, and so 10 is your x coordinate. So it's going across. Go over 10 units, go down 9 units, so here's the beginning of our square. Let's duplicate that. And let's put this one here and 21 and 9 so now we have flush squares and I'll show you the math behind it this starts at 10 10 plus our 11 inches of paper is 21 and this is at 21 so now we know they're flushed I'm gonna do another square and we can figure this out afterwards but right now we're just building a grid of squares and then afterwards we'll place it on top and we'll see what we get so this one becomes 32 and 9. All right, so we have three squares completely flush with each other. Hit the shift key and just grab all three squares. And you know that you grab them because um, it's selected here. It's darker. And duplicate. Because we don't need to do the whole thing again, right? We already have three squares flushed with each other. We'll just put it really close. And it becomes 10 and 20. And then duplicate again. And we've got this here and this becomes 10 and 31 now the easy thing that you could do is you can just go up here and grab I think you only need six squares let's duplicate the six and we'll move it over here and this will be for this guy. So we'll move this arrange, send to the front. So this guy will fit here. Something like this. Okay. Or no, I don't like that. This is such a bad shape. <laughs> let's let's do our black background first. So let's see where is it. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna select him here, arrange, and send to the front. All right, we're gonna to look to see where we're slicing this guy, this little girl. Okay, this tail is going to be like this. What you don't want is she has eyelashes here. You don't want the eyelashes to be cut up. You want it to be part, and you don't want this tip to be a small tip hanging out by itself either. So we wanna do something like this because everything is kind of big pieces and because we built our grid this is what i think we should do as well so um it's just really big i don't think it's gonna fit i was gonna say let's move this under one square but i don't think that's gonna work um we could do okay so this looks pretty good to me. Let's start slicing it and then I'll show you what I would do. So let's grab this and slice. And, oops. Okay, this slice. This one is definitely a tough character. Um, a lot of times I would say like with the princesses or even Frida behind me is that when you make it tall, one, one length is always kind of narrow, right? Cause it's like the body is that small. This one is he, she is just as wide as she is long, right? So it's just a lot of, um, a lot of space to cover. All right. So let's grab this one and slice. Because a lot of times I won't have 
you know, this many cuts on my background because it would have only taken up six squares because they're more slender. All right, what we can do is let's move this over so we can kind of see what we have. And we can get rid of these slice results. Um, yeah, we're just going to actually have to slice up this whole piece. I think we're almost there. Yep. Okay, so now we're done. So I'm going to move this back. We're just deleting all the slice results that we don't need. All right, so we've got our pieces. Everything should be um, should be fine now. Where does this go? Oh, it goes over here like this. All right, and then you can delete. I mean, you can slice up this piece. All right, we are done. This one's crazy hard. I hope that was helpful. Um, I would probably, now looking back, I might even make it a little bit smaller just to make it easier on myself. She's going to still look really, really good. I would say that the deliberate seams that we put in there um, will be unnoticeable. No one's going to say, oh my gosh, why does that image look so weird? It's, it's going to look natural. All right. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. I will um, answer any questions. So post your comments. Let me know what you think. If you want to see something, I'll see you next time. Bye.